it's Hannah and today I am going to show you how to make these really cute Christmassy friendship bracelets. They are Christmassy because the flowers in them are meant to be poinsettias. So that is what we're going with. This one I did with more pinky colour because I didn't, couldn't find my red and then I found my red and so this is the one I'm making in the tutorial. I covered in my last week's video, I covered a new way of making a loop like this which I think is really nice, especially if you like to add buttons to your friendship bracelet, which I do. I think it makes a nice alternative closure and makes them removable, which is always useful. But yes, so if you want to know how to make the loop, don't forget to check out that tutorial, which I've linked in the description bar and also on the screen, so you can click through to that. But yes, I don't think I have anything else to add before, so let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? And my nail varnish is about to change colour. So we are going to start by laying out our threads in this order. So red, gold, green, gold, red, gold, gold, red, gold, green, gold, red. Yes? I think I said all of them. Oh, it got very confusing just then. So we are going to start by taking that first red thread and we are going to tie a forwards backwards knot onto the gold thread that it is next to. Lovely. Then taking the next gold thread, we are tying a backwards knot over that third strand, which is the green strand. Then we're taking one of the center gold strands and tying a backwards knot over the red strand, which is to the left of it. Take the next gold strand and tie a forwards knot over the next strand, which is a red strand. And then we're taking the next gold string and tying a forwards knot over the green string. Then we're taking that final red string and tying a backwards forwards knot over the gold. Wonderful stuff, row one is done. So now we're taking the next two uh, gold strings and we're just knotting them together. The pattern says forwards backwards but it doesn't actually matter because it just doesn't. Then we're taking the green string and tying a forwards backwards knot over the gold. Then we are knotting the two center strings together they're both the same colour so it doesn't matter if it's forwards or backwards or if you're having a dance party. Then we're taking the next green strand and tying a backwards forwards knot over the gold. And then we're knotting the two gold strings together. I really like this way of starting bracelets because the edge is so straight when you start. It's perfect. So taking that first red strand again, we are tying yet another forwards backwards knot and another forwards backwards knot using the gold over the green. Then we are tying a backwards knot using the center red color over the gold string which is to its left. Now taking the other red and tying a forwards knot over the next gold. And now we're tying a backwards forwards knot using the gold string over the green. And finishing up this row, taking that final red string and tying a backwards forwards knot over that gold. You're going to get very repetitive with the red strings on the outside. Believe me. So we're ignoring that first red string this time round and we are knotting those two gold strings together. Then we are taking the red string and we are tying a backwards forwards knot over the top of the green. Knot the two center strands together, which are both gold. This is for the center of the flower. And now tie a forwards backwards knot using the red over the green. Finally, on this row, you are knotting together the two gold strings. Wonderful stuff. Now, once again, you are tying a forwards backwards knot using the red over the gold. Now tie another forwards backwards knot, you are using the gold over the green. Forwards knot using the red over one of the center gold strings. Now we are taking the other red and tying a backwards knot over the other center gold string. And now you are tying a backwards forwards knot using the gold over the green. Apparently I have lost the ability to speak. 
I clearly need another cup of tea. It's almost 7 p.m. I probably shouldn't have one. Now you are tying a backwards forwards knot using the red over the gold. Because tea's got caffeine in. I don't want to be up all night. I need to have a sleep at some point. Now you're going to take your two gold strings and you're going to knot those together. I am doing forwards knots for all of these ones. Then you're going to tie a forwards backwards knot using the green over the gold. Then you want to knot together the two centre red strands. And this is finishing up the flower and I'm getting all my threads all hooked up together with my excitement. And then you want to tie a backwards forwards knot using the green over the red. And then knot the two gold threads together. Lovely stuff. Second to last row, exciting! You're going to be tying a forwards backwards knot using that red thread over the gold. Then you're just tying a forwards knot using the gold thread over the green. Tie another forwards knot using the gold thread over the red. And tie the other gold thread in a backwards knot over the red. Then we are going to tie the gold in a backwards knot over the green. Lovely. And then a backwards forwards knot using the red over the gold. Don't forget that a link to the pattern will be in the description box below so you can have that up on the screen as well. So now we're taking that final gold thread and we are tying a forwards backwards knot over the green, a forwards backwards knot using the gold over the next red. Then we're going to knot together the two centre gold strings and get any tangles out of the way. Grand! And then we are going to take the next gold and tie a backwards forwards knot. And finishing up with a backwards forwards knot of that last gold thread over the green. I'm just going to keep repeating these steps until my bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist and then I will attach a button which you will see very soon in the next clip. And then all I had did at the ends when my bracelet I made sure three times that my bracelet was long enough, I attached a button, knotted my threads and applied a lot of fabric glue. You can also apply nail varnish, that also works. And this one has a very pretty gold button on it. It's just like a, a shank style. But yes, very pretty. Now you know how easy it is to make these Christmassy friendship bracelets of your very own. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support honestly does mean the world to me and please feel free to hit subscribe. I post new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes I post a bonus video in the week as well. So be sure to check them out and subscribe so my videos show up in your subscription feed every week. If you do decide to recreate something using one of my tutorials, I would love to see it, so please feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag The Corner of Craft so I can check it out, see how talented you all are. It would be grand because I know you're all very clever people. I've seen some of your pictures before. It really does impress me. If you do enjoy making friendship bracelets, don't forget to check out my friendship bracelet playlist. I will have it linked down below as well as on the screen right now so you can go and check that out because, you know, it would be pretty cool. And I think that's everything I have to say. Yes. So with all that being said, I shall see you very soon in another video. Thank you. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Hannah. And today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute button loop. 